how to grow your plant vertically guys you could see this is in a five gallon container and with the wind blowing it, it literally it could break my plant if this plant grow any bigger and you have zucchini hanging down is a high chance my plant could be broken and there's a lot of leaves going on here and you could see like this leaf right here it's now something is wrong with this one it's not even like you know looking that healthy so guys we're going to show you either zucchini or squash how to grow your zucchini or squash vertically guys and you could see this one i tie this up in a spike and this this right here that i'm teaching you guys will work in ground or a container guys it's not just for a container you can see i use these ties right here these are very easy ties and i'm gonna leave the tie and the stake in the description box this stake is really good guys there's a skinny rubber one i had it for two years and it's still strong and it's you know it's about four feet three to four feet so this is perfect height so guys the main reason why you want to grow your zucchini or squash plant vertically upward guys especially in a container guys most of the time as a zucchini plant is growing it comes with a curve it will lean over your container sometimes that's how big it gets and then all your remember zucchini and squash are really big so when they're pulling your plant downward your plant could actually snap in two half guys and then your leaf there's leaves all over and you know you're taking over a lot of space so growing your your plant upward save you space your leaves if it's touching the ground you could get some kind of bugs insect disease or something you get rid of all of that because we're gonna i'm gonna show you how to prune out all your bottom leaves you don't need the bottom leaves guys basically your plants are gonna push through energy and just grow to your fruit and grow give you guys a maximum faster production guys and you could harvest faster and this way guys is guaranteed to save you space in your garden either in ground or a container guys this is the best way to grow your zucchini plant i've been doing it for a while now and i'm going to show you i have a lot of plants right now that all of them are growing upward and it's easy to harvest it's easy to see and it's easy to hand pollinate it's easy for the bee to pollinate so let me show you guys right now guys you can see the bottom of my stake is a spike which is really good if you guys doing wood take a knife and just cut all the sides so you make it spike so we'll go down easy i'm right here i'm gonna go uh two inches probably from it and you just push it down right there so any plant has a lot of roots guys they'll be fine here i love these guys um you kind of like average what you need and then you cut it off so guys all you need is your stake and you get a pruner and some kind of tie you guys could use use uh twine rope whatever you know garden stuff you guys want to do um before tying this plant guys i'm gonna prune it i like to prune it so i'm gonna show you guys exactly what are we pruning we're pruning off stuff at the bottom okay, so looking at this plant right now um you want to do a look around all over this plant and you can see our plant is connected to this leaf right here there's a fruit so we have some bottom leaves right be below which we don't really need guys always leave like six to eight leaves on your plant and uh you do want to make sure you come in close let me show you guys when you're cutting it off so I took out two on, um, you could see how it's windy around here in Long Island. So definitely tying your plant up guys. It's definitely a big help. So we're gonna come here, cut that out. So we took off three leaves. So guys, make sure your steak is not squishing any kind of fruit or anything. And you can see my bees back there. I don't know if you guys could see, but basically you wanna just tie this up, twist it like this. And then if it gets loose later on guys, you could twist it more. So that's awesome. Now, most of our energy now is going to come right here. It's going to grow these double male flowers. And then it is going to push through to this fruit. And guys, when we harvest this one fruit, we're going to cut this leaf out. And then energy is going to push to that fruit. And we're going to do the same thing. So you could see how we save space right here. So that it could work for your... So this method worked for your, worked for your squash, your, your zucchini, and it works for your squash. So you guys could see this one right here. Now... Look at this. A bee could just fly and come in here and pollinate within seconds. He doesn't have to like go through any leaves or go through any, you know, any kind of problem or go in the ground or wherever it is. Sometimes the bees wouldn't even find a flower, I think. But you could see right here how it is. So I only put one here. And what I'm going to do as it's growing, I'm going to put another one right here. Look at all the bees, guys. I am so excited about this a month ago guys trust me i didn't have any bees in my garden lavender plant hands down the best my plant is basically coming up here is forcing energy pushing that fruit this fruit is growing really fast it's ready to harvest i'm gonna harvest this tomorrow and then when i harvest that look this one leaves right now look even looking at that guys look we could come here 
and we cut off that one leaf. This here, we're gonna cut that out tomorrow. We're gonna cut out all the meal flowers. So now we push more energy and then we're gonna go up more there, guys. And as you guys could see, a little extreme there. So I got, look, harvest, harvest. And this plant had produced so much for me, guys. Right here, guys tie this up as it's growing and you can see everything is just upward and it's so much room here guys okay, so thank you so much for watching green tea garden guys hopefully this video was helpful if it was helpful please give me a thumbs up guys comment uh let me know if you guys did this before are you about to try it or any question uh feel free to ask guys if you're new welcome to green tea garden guys we're growing a better garden together please subscribe it's 100 free every time i upload a new video you guys will get it right away guys uh, i'll see you guys next time on green tea garden guys and um uh happy father's day to everybody out there tomorrow's gonna be father's day so happy father's day and hopefully you guys enjoy